Many FLL teams build their attachments directly onto their motors and then are forced to plug in their wires while switching out different attachments. This not only takes a lot of time, but it also limits how many attachments the teams can build. In general, all your modular attachments will be connected to the robot through a universal mount. Your medium motor will then transfer power into your attachments, which have to be able to be easily removed. The first step to making modular attachments is to have your medium motors integrated into the robot with its motor shaft easily accessible. Next, you need to build some sort of attachment point where all your attachments connect to with connector pins that can't be pushed in or pulled out. And then you will build all your attachments off individual construction frames. So you'll have one frame for your universal mount and one for each attachment. Of course, you don't have to use construction frames, but they are extremely versatile due to all of their available studs. Finally, you need to choose a system in which the medium motor can transfer power into the modular attachment. Axles are the simplest solution because they can easily be inserted and removed from the motor shafts. However, due to the small size of the motor shaft, it can be difficult to insert the axle every time. Another solution are dog gears. Dog gears are a two-part clutch system in which the motor rotates two rounded pegs which then rotate a rotary arm connected to the attachment's axle. Now as you can see, you can use two rounded pegs with a four-knot gear or three rounded pegs with an axle bush, which was the original dog gear designed by BuilderDude35. The advantage to dog gears are that they are easier to put on and that they interlock on top of each other, saving space. The last way to transfer power is to use gears. You simply need to attach a gear to a motor and another gear to the attachment. Gears are by far the fastest of the three solutions because of how small the teeth are. Also, if you do use gears, I highly recommend building some sort of frame holding the two gears together. You just leave one stud of room on each of the axles as well as an available stud for the opposite axle. This way it's physically impossible for the two gears to separate. If you don't do this, then there's a chance that the gears will skip if the attachment experiences any resistance. Overall, modular attachments will save your FLL team lots of time and base and will make all your attachments more efficient.